Well, he really, really trained for yeah. that movie. That's him. I mean, you can really tell. I mean, it's a, there's films where guys do tactical scenes where you go like, okay, you know, I can buy it. Right. But, yeah. but in the, that the, movie. The typical military way of cutting through, mm-hmm. you know, pieing the, the corners and yeah. that on stuff. The very tactical sense. I think you're right. I, I, I see that. It's just, it's like with martial arts. You can do the quick finger jab in the eye, right? And right. That, some, once in a while, that staccato beat is cool. But choreography and for the, the visual of it, I think sometimes you have to add something. You have to show people something they kind of expect, subvert it and give them something a little bit different, you know, spice yeah. it up a little bit. So I think we went more with the competition sense. You know, I, I saw Taryn online. You know, J.J. Perry, a buddy of mine, introduced me to Taryn online and I saw Taryn and I saw some of the quick, I was like, fuck, that's what we're, we got to put a little spice in this. Yeah. And then sent Keanu out there and he Taryn is such a freak. Oh my God, freak of me. <laughs> like he, sh- no one, let's be honest, no one should be that good. Right? He's crazy. He, it's crazy he how good he is. He should not be that good. The speed that he has is so insane. I, I, how many people have you seen that are good at what they He's do? such a good guy too. Such, like, he's such a fun guy to be around. So oh easy going. God. And what a great instructor too, because he's so calm and easy. And he's got a, a naturalistic approach. It's just follow your body. Follow he's your body. one of the only reasons I like to go back to LA. Yeah. <laughs> For real. He's the only reason I go to Simi Valley. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, I mean, whenever I'm in town. I, I always make a trip. And, and, and you get better every time, right? Oh, there's for some, sure. There's a little yeah, something. for sure. Just by watching him, you can see. And, I, you know, I was up there uh, just yesterday, as a matter of fact, picking up something. And I had introduced him to an actor about like three, four weeks ago. And he had taken this cast member in just three sessions. And the cast member happened to be up there yesterday. And to watch what he had done with him in three weeks, it, 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 I mean, granted, there is a little natural ability there, I could tell. But, like... The, the progression and how fast he gets you from just pointing a firearm to mm-hmm. drawing it, hip shooting, pressing, walking, and running through the course. Yeah. I mean, it, it's hard to explain, right, until you actually yes. – you can see it online, but when you're there and seeing how fast the pings are coming and actually watching Taryn go through the obstacle course, yeah. it's, it's, it's really, really impressive. Now, he's a freak. He's weird. But it's, like, it's like I, something's going on in his brain. Do, do you think like me, there's something about the hand-eye coordination? Mm-hmm. Like we all have a little bit, especially right. through martial arts. But that's not like that. That's no. Well, obviously it's he's cr- been doing it forever. But there's some. He's got some god-given ability. It, it's got to be some autism, right? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Because he can just he. I've seen him do things where he's looking one way and he's still lining up. Like he just knows that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would you call it? Like that physical dysmorphia, that body uh, memory. Yep, the motor muscle memory to to get in there and play. And it. no red dot. He's doing it no, all the, through the all iron yeah. sights, all yeah. old school. Which, all old school, and that's how he teaches, which I love. Yeah, I love it too yeah. because he says uh, red dots fail, and I've had red dots fail. Yeah, uh, all, all the time, yeah. all the time. And you're like, what the fuck is it? Fucking ah oh, shit! And I, you're, I, fucking, and you're with fucking with it, and he's yeah. just like, okay, as you're fucking around with it, exactly. I'm just going to go shoot a couple yeah. more bulls. At. But he's been he's been very good. Like I'm naturally left handed. But I sh- always shoot with him right-handed. But he's helped me so I can I, – he's got me to the point where I can kind of go through the range with both hands and with oh. the same dominant eye, which is a bit of a trip. Next thing you go, try try alternate hands. Mm. It'll mess with your – but it, I think it'll help your sighting. Oh, I'm sure. Everything yeah. you do with your left hand will help your right hand. Yeah. I learned that from martial arts. Yeah, they, absolutely. They, someone told me that a long time ago, that if you practice your bad side, it actually improves the technique on your good side. I think it, it helps you yeah. think in a different way. So what was the inspiration for this? What was this shotgun supposed to be loaded? with it well, lights it, people it's on fire. actually it's actually called dragon's breath you can check it's it out. real it's real dragon's breath yeah. is no real shit. Is that call of duty i've seen it yeah itself. wow and so they're, so it really it's, does it's, light people on yeah, fire well, that they're, is they're, fucking they're, crazy they're the they're like the big balls right they're covered in phosphorus so oh. when they hit the air they ignite so they're putting holes in you and they're lighting you on fire at the same time oh, where do i buy them <laughs> see yeah. i saw that like early in prep i was just fucking bored out of my mouth I was surfing through the internet I was going like, I was looking up, like, we already did the Benelli thing. You know, we did mm-hmm. the, the caddy, you know, his quad yeah. loading. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do shotguns again. But I'm like, look, it's the third act. I got to go ramp somewhere. I have the Arctic Triumph sequence in my head. I know I'm going to do the stairs. Uh, you know, I'm like, uh, and then Taryn introduced me to the Genesis shotgun, automatic shotgun. That, that thing really is insane. I shot monster, that at his right? place. It's crazy. It's crazy. Isn't it like 12 rounds? How many rounds is I it? I think it's more than 12. Is it 20? It might, it might, it might, it might. It was a giant banana clip. Yeah, I thought it was almost like 14 or 15. It's something like that, right? Mm. But like, and it's, it's boom. It's like very on an AR platform, yeah, but exactly. it's a shotgun. So he had already introduced me to that. And I was out in Berlin going, I don't, you know, how am I going to, because to, to, to regular people, it looks the same. It, it's not a stylistic change. It looks like, again, like a, an AR or a 308 or something. Like that, right. right. So it wasn't going to be a shocking change if he grabbed it from the guy. 
So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I saw that video. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I'm like, oh. But then I, I couldn't figure out, like, because it's just that starburst. And like, mm-hmm. like you, like, no one, they're going to call bullshit on me. Right. Like, that doesn't exist. So I thought in the montage, I'll have these guys pull out the Dragonsmith. And then I saw this, you know, I have this huge video game, uh, like, uh, cinematic trailer collection. And I was just scrolling through it, and this game, wait, something I had, I'd saw, like, years ago was called Hong Kong Massacre. Do you have Hong Kong Massacre trailer? And I was like... What was cool about it was from the top, like we use top shots a lot in film and action, but it always looks like, like if I did a top shot in here, it's just looking at the carpet and be the top of our heads doing fight stuff. Right. So it's okay, but like I wanted a way to make it color and poppy. So I saw this and the blood on the white floors and the paper and all this. What shit the going. fuck is this? Right? But this is some wacky, yeah, I had never heard of, but I'd saw the trail and I was like, it's fucking cool. This is a video game? Yeah. Oh my God. For all your listeners, you're the one that you're the one that told us to use the 71 Barracuda. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just, when I saw it in the previews, I was like, "Yes, he no, listened." <laughs> no, with with context, I bump into you for the first time up at Taryn's place. First of all, I don't. I love three, but there's no muscle cars, Chad. Hey, Chad, put the fucking muscle cars back in, bro. Yeah. And yeah. It, you know, we got the handshake. Hey, you know how you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was. Uh, Joe writes to me going, love the movies. Where the fuck are the muscle cars? <laughs> number, number, <laughs> number three. three. Like, I had that no was muscle a problem. Car. I was like, yeah, sorry. I'm like, okay, we'll put one in for the fourth one. He's like, you better. <laughs> said, so how long did, what, did Halle Berry have to train for that movie? Because she had so many physical. First of all, she's yeah. awesome. She's so she's good in great. that movie. She's so believable. Yeah. And she's mm-hmm. so like physically adept. Like. Like, I had no she, idea she could move like that. No, yeah. she just went crazy the first time. Like, we couldn't kick her out of the gym. She's another Keanu. We just couldn't get rid of her. You know, she's wow. in the gym all the time. She's like, put her up at Terrence and like, she just lived it, just lived it up there. She'd go with Keanu. She's like, whenever Keanu goes, I'm going. So just make, make room for me. After that movie, did she ever want to do it again? Yeah. We were actually been in talks several times to try and get, um, I, I hate the term spinoff, but they're trying to do other satellite projects off the mm-hmm. Wick franchise. Um, which it, it's very flattering. Uh, hopefully, there'll be good ones. I, I don't believe John Wick is dead. <laughs> is John dead or is John Wick dead? We don't know. We just don't know. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it was very <laughs> ambiguous at the end of the movie. It's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how Keanu and the director feel in three, four years. <laughs> you got to take him to that bar in Japan and get him, exactly. get him drunk. Well, we're going in September, so like you talk to me again then, man. It could be like John Wick five and a half, man. I don't know. You never know. 